I need to hurry. Um, I just watched Louie perform, and if you're following the Enlightened Piano Radio Artists here on the live event, I thought he did a wonderful job explaining what this group is all about, much better than I could even try to. So if you need some more explanation, just go back to this video at the beginning and you'll understand what this is all about. I'd like to thank Enlightened Piano Radio and especially Milana and Artie who are helping to create and promote um, a monthly pl playlist on Spotify for all these uh, pianists that are associated with uh, Enlightened Piano Radio. This is my sixth bass book live and it seems like we thought we we're getting better and there's no glitches and for some reason we're getting more glitches. So hopefully we'll be smooth rolling this time around. I apologize for the delay. I have a handful of songs I'd like to play with you. And if you can share with friends any of the music that you really like, it's a wonderful way to support any of these independent artists. I saw in the you know delayed data feed that we were looking at before that some of these first couple of songs are on there, but I'm gonna go again just in case you didn't get a good view of them. The first song I played is um, called April Love, and it happens to be a particular arrangement that I really like of George Shearing's, and I just modified it a little bit. It's a fantastic song. If you don't know it, look it up. It's perfect for this month that we're coming up to in April. So April Love. she wanted it and if you grew up with any immigrants you know they usually don't turn down something that's free and I just still remember being in the basement as a seven-year-old and seeing eight men literally trying to carry this huge heavy piano down these steep stairs and into the basement it came by that time I had started studying violin a little bit so I already knew about the treble clef 
And then my mom found a piano teacher to come to the house and I had maybe about six months worth of piano lessons with him and that was my start. And the piano really was a good quality piano. I didn't know it then. It was a uh, Gulbertson brand in case you're familiar with that. So this first song I'm going to play for you is called A Treasure and I'd say that that first piano was my treasure. In case you're interested in it, it happens to be my fourth uh, I've done um, seven CDs of original music and one Christmas arrangements. This is from my fourth one called Fourth Finesse. So the song is called The Treasure. I write is just because I, I play around and I go, oh, I want to write a song in E flat 
I, I want to write a song in 6-8. Um, so this next one is just one of those type of songs. It's called Morning Dance, and it's not connected to any story, but I hope you like it.
this week when I was practicing because there's never enough time to practice and the older you get, the more you want to practice because time is running out. Um, I realized that I like flatted keys more than I like sharp keys and maybe mathematically or when it comes to physics, they really shouldn't be any different, but somehow mysteriously they are different. So I prefer the flatted keys to the sharp keys. Uh, the next song I'm going to play for you is actually set to a poem by a friend of mine. So her words inspired this song. And I think it's called Winter Song. Let me look. It's on the same CD. Uh, it's called, I'm sorry. It's called Winter's Heart. So I know that some of you are still experiencing winter, but not those of us in Southern California. And um, that's just the way it is in the Midwest and the East. The winters last a long time. So maybe you'll hear in this piece that though it starts in a winter mug, it, it gets into the spring and into, into the summer for a little bit. Maybe you know what I mean so, by the sounds. So this is Winter's Heart.
was winter's heart. Um, I think I forgot something to say. Uh, this is our sixth Facebook Live, and I apologize for keeping you waiting tonight. I know I was going to be on at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Um, we're working to get better each time, and I really appreciate Mike, Mike's help and Susie's help and Chip's help. It's, um, it's trying for your patience, but if you play the piano, you kind of get good at learning to be patient. I think I have one more song for you. And this is another song that, let me just double check that I haven't missed anything. This is another song that I, I just kind of was playing around with the key of E minor and I came up with. It doesn't really have um, any words to it or anything, but after I wrote it, I thought, well, what does this song, song sound like? And it, it sounded like, you know, for whatever reason, that a voice was crying out. So I called it, my voice cries out, or my soul cries out, that's what I call it, my soul cries out. I hope you like it. My neighbor's dog is barking. I don't think he likes it already. <laughs> so my soul cries out. Also from the same CD, my number five, Unfolding Fifth. Thank you so much for sharing some time with me. I hope you enjoyed my music and I will see you next time.